Hello, this is an introduction of ISML, Intelligent Soft Materials Laboratory. Our lab is in the Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering Department of KAIST, and our lab is under the advisement of Professor Shin Hyun Kim. Our lab has 22 members, including our professor. Among them, the proportion of PhD candidates is the highest. There are various research topics in our lab, but our main topic is this, optical and capsule material development through structural control of dispersive materials. With microfluidics as our core, we use dispersive materials or colloids for colloidal crystals, structural colors, microcapsules, and so on. As you can see in the keyword cloud, our research leads to boundless brainstorming. The main research of our lab is colloidal crystals. The regular arrays of colloids show wavelength selective diffraction through constructive interferences, which develops reflective and twinkling colors. Also, the structural colors developed by the crystalline structures are strongly iridescent. These novel properties render the colloidal crystals appealing for various coloration applications. So, our lab is conducting research on the continuous production of photonic crystal patterns or printing on a large area for practical applications. The next topic is SARS, which is short for Surface Enhanced Raman Spectroscopy. Certain molecular species can be detected in the form of Raman signals, and these signals can be remarkably enhanced when the target molecules are in the vicinity in the metal nanoparticle or nanostructures. Based on this principle, our lab developed fabrication methods to enhance selectivity and amplify these Raman signals, where the SIRIS sensing platform that we developed were put to practical use in detecting pesticides in eggs. In addition, our group uses our microfluidic technology to produce multiple size controllable emulsions or functional microcapsules. In particular, the uniform microcapsule can be used as a drug delivery system as the drug loaded on the core is released under specific conditions. In the following fields that I've stated, here are some achievements. In the field of functional microparticles, we developed technologies regarding continuous production of photonic crystal patterns and printing techniques for photonic crystals. In addition, as it was a major issue in Korea, our field detection technology was covered nationally by several broadcast stations, and this technology was nominated as the top 100 that will lead Korea by the NAEK. Moreover, our lab has produced numerous publications and invited papers as a leading group for droplet-based microfluidic systems. From 2005, our lab has published 183 papers with an H index of 56 and 10,235 citations. For the last three years, 43 papers have been published with an average impact factor of 13.03. Publications were done in journals such as Advanced Materials, Advanced Functional Materials, ACS Nano, and so on. Moreover, 14 patents were registered in the last three years. Besides our research, our lab has annual events. In spring and autumn, we go out for a picnic, and during the summer and winter vacations, there are outings. For Christmas, we do a secret Santa. We also have unofficial get-togethers for birthdays to play sports or watch movies together. For more information, please refer to the laboratory website, isml.keist.ac.kr. Thank you.